Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to share a project for you for Newton Sick Designs and we're using a brand new stamp set over at the shop. This one here is called Kitten Beach. It's filled with fun kitten themed images that have to do with the beach. And I do have the coordinating die set. Um, but I love these little kittens. One of them has a beach pail. I think that's the one we're going to use for our project today. But the other images, one is in a beach chair and another one is in a sand castle. And then there's some fun little shell and um, starfish uh, uh, elements in the stamp set along with some fun sentiments. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll list it down below in the description area. I'm inking up my image with some alcohol marker friendly ink and then we are going to um, color in our image with Copic markers today. I kept the Im uh, coloring pretty simple. Um, I'm going to zoom in and then I'll play some music. I did list the colors that I used of the Copic markers up in the corner for you guys but I wanted to go with some warm tones um, kind of coordinating with my background. So I'll play some music and then when I'm done coloring I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. I'm gonna go ahead, I went ahead and separated um, the coordinating die for my image and then we're just gonna tape it down and run this through the die cutting machine. Such a cute image and I, you see the little crab too. You just, look, I love the crab too. <laughs> okay, he is all die cut out. Now we're gonna work on our background. I thought we have blue and then the warm grays and then kind of the amber color for the tan, um, for the sand. So I thought we'd use some oxide inks to create a um, ink smushed background. So I'm bringing in my little curled up craft mat here and I have some oxide inks on the side. Quite a few of them actually. I wanted to kind of create a beachy kind of a scene. So I'm taking tumble glass at the very top, smushing it in really good. It's very pale uh, blue. And then right below it, I'm going to add a little bit of faded jeans. 
and I think I added a little too much so I'm just gonna use a paper towel and wipe off about half of that and then kind of add on wavy motion this way when I spray it with water um, it's not a straight line next we're using pumice stone this is this is gonna coordinate with the sand pail that we colored in in that warm gray color and then for sandy I think mm, antique linen is gonna work out perfectly we'll smush some of that down and then last I'm just gonna do a thin line of vintage photo for a little bit of darker sandy area I'm gonna actually soften those lines with my paintbrush here okay next I'm taking my water bottle we're gonna spray it really good with some water and I'm just gonna use some white cardstock I, I'm gonna use my my Cougar digital cardstock um, it's a he very heavy weight I would suggest maybe using your card base cardstock for this um, my cardstock actually soaks it in really good and really fast it really saturates the paper you can use any paper you want to do this effect um, I love the way this looks but I think I want a little bit more intense look bring in a little bit more of that that tumble glass the soft blue so I dried my panel and then we're gonna do a redo with tumble glass here we're gonna add it to our mat one once more and then we're gonna bring in some of this um, antique linen and then actually this is pumice stone sorry I want to bring in a little more warm gray and then I'm also gonna bring in my vintage photo kind of darken up that bottom area spray it real good again with water and then I'm just gonna take my panel and place it right over the top one more time this is gonna intensify it kind of spread out these colors a little bit more after it's nice and saturated in my cardstock I'm loving the way this looks um, I'm gonna set this aside I'm not gonna I'm gonna wipe off my craft mat but I do want to add just a little something extra in the background so I'm bringing in some acrylic paint this is um, just white acrylic paint I added a little bit to my acrylic block along with some water to thin it out and um, once it's thin I'll pick it up with my paintbrush and we're gonna do some splattering over the background it's not gonna look like snow um, but it is gonna just give it a little bit more of a softness and I kind of like that because um, I wanted to have a white border around my little scene today so adding the white splatter is just gonna work out great now once I'm happy with this I'm gonna bring back my heat gun um, we'll clean off our block before that dries I found out that was easiest to do <laughs> don't want to let it dry on your acrylic blocks trust me then I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and dry my entire panel it did warp quite a bit but that's okay we're gonna do a little bit of die cutting with it and then I'm gonna use a large piece of fun foam to help straighten it out the dies that I'm using are from the Newton's Nook designs frames and flags die set I'm gonna take the largest scalloped one and we're gonna cut out a pretty scalloped frame background and then I'm gonna take the rounded corner die the second largest and I'm just gonna move it around my paper until I find the scene that looks prettiest um, for the front of my panel and I like the little darker brown area on the bottom but I wanted kind of more of that darker blue on top along with the gradient and I think this is gonna be a great spot to die cut <laughs> we'll run this through the die cut machine actually both of them and when I did run my panel through I have that area off to the left I'm just gonna trim this into a strip um, and then this is nice to add to the inside of your cards guys so in because you do all that work for your background and it is awful pretty put it on the inside of your cards I'm gonna layer it basically like this on my card front I'm gonna go ahead and um, kind of figure out my placement I have some red and white Baker's twine I think it's gonna really bring out the crab and I wasn't sure to put it on the left or to the right of my panel and I opted to put it on the right side so we're gonna go ahead and use the tape runner and adhere our ink smushed background to our scalloped edge background just layer them both together there's stitch detail on that scalloped edge so you can see it and I like I think this looks, looks so pretty I went around the scallops with my Baker's twine and skipping one over helped with the, the spacing and then tied a bow towards the top 
I left the tails a little bit long um, and I think we're gonna make the bow a little bit smaller but I wanted to add my placement first um, our little kitty is gonna go over the twine but we need a sentiment so I'm gonna grab my stamp set here a lot of fun sentiments in here you have have a perfect day you have your clossum you have happy as a clam and there's a little clam in there too in the stamp set <laughs> and then sanding you a sanding um, you a sunny smile which is sweet that's the one we're going to use for our card today um, I am going to stamp my sentiment on the banner that's in the frame and flags die set I'm going to die cut this out with white cardstock and then I also die cut it out with red cardstock I thought maybe we can create a double banner but I'm not sure if I, I want to do that or not so our sentiment's good to go. We're gonna set those aside. I'm adding my fun foam behind my panel before we put it all together. And we'll just put this on our card base. I'm using a top folding standard size A2 card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're gonna add some adhesive to this strip and just put it on the right side on the inside. This way you have a little surprise when you open up and you have plenty of room for your message on the other side. My bow wants to curl. <laughs> okay, after we have that situated, we're gonna pop up our little kitty. Just add a couple pieces of foam uh, squares. And then we're gonna add him to our scene. And then I didn't like the red banner. So I went through my stash and found a scrap piece of paper that was um, the black and white diagonal stripe. I added that um, to the end of my banner and then popped it up and put it on my card base. I just thought that look worked a little bit better than um, the red banner. Didn't like the way that looked. For a little bit of sparkle, I'm bringing in some stickles. Um, this is um, the color Glisten. It kind of looks like sand. There's some warm tones in here. I added it to the beach pail and also to um, the sand underneath the little kitty and thought we would need it just a little more red. So I brought in three little red hearts from a sticker sheet they just picked up at Walmart. I think it's from Sticko. You can get them at Walmart, guys. They're little red puppy stickers. But that is my project today. I hope you get a chance to check out the brand new release. This is such a sweet stamp set and I hope you enjoyed my project. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.